All right, thank you everybody for being here today. My name is Amber Lewis. I am a Lead for Minnesota Fellow serving Northspan as their Welcoming Community Program Coordinator. And I'm working with North Force today to host this business meet and greet. So we take this is our second business meet and greet of the fall. We're excited to have our employers, Altec, United Health Group, and Marycraft staffing here today, sharing about who they are and what it looks like to work for them. So to get started, we'll just have a brief overview of our agenda. So we're just going to do some brief introductions. We will have our business presentations. Um, we have three businesses, like I said, that will be here today presenting from 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then we'll have at least 10 minutes of Q&A at the end. Um, so be thinking about some questions as you're listening to the presentations and we'll give you time to ask those at the end. So we're in Zoom today, as I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with. Feel free to use the chat um, if you have any questions. If you're able to be on camera, we'd love to see your smiling faces um, and make this as interactive as possible. Um, you have the ability to manage your sound. Please stay on mute, um, if possible, during the presentations. And if there's anything you need help with, please let us know and we'll be sure to assist you in any way that we can so you can have the best experience in this business meet and greet today. Um, so, as I said, my name is Amber Lewis. Um, I grew up on the Iron Range near Britt and recently moved to Duluth um, to be in this fellowship with North Span and have been really, really enjoying being back in the area because I lived in the Twin Cities for a couple years prior. Um, I'm, I love working in the community and I'm really excited to be part of these business meet and greets. Um, and I'm just going to ask our other North Force team member to introduce herself. Desiree, would you give a quick introduction? Absolutely. Uh, I'm Desiree Yorzek. Uh, I am the strategy and development consultant um, for Greater Northeastern Minnesota. Uh, so I think I've, I've uh, touched base with, with a lot of the um, businesses that are on the call today, uh, but I'm part of the crew that um, reviews all the job postings um, and, and helps employers and helps the job seekers uh, behind, behind the scenes here at North Force. Great. Thank you so much, Desiree. So as I said, we're in Zoom here today. If you have any questions about how to work any of those tools, just let us know, we'll be sure to help. We have our three business um, presentations today from Altec, United Health Group, and Mary Craft HR. Um, so we're going to begin with Altec today. We're gonna to have Whitney Saunders start with um, our presentation of about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're going to wait on questions till the end. So then we'll have United Health Group with Erica and then Mary Craft Staffing with Lisa and Kelly. Oh, we're gonna keep it on that slide. <laughs> All right, so if you want to take it away, Whitney, please feel free to share your screen. Um, tell us about yourself and Altec. We're excited to hear about it. Okay. It says the host has disabled participant screen sharing. Let me fix that really quickly. <laughs> Bound to have a few um, hiccups in here, right? All right, <laughs> let's see here. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably because I'm still sharing my screen. Okay. And I'm going to unshare mine. And there we go. Okay. Let's take a look here. Looks All great. right. All right, great, great. Uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Whitney Saunders. I work for Altec Industries um, here in Duluth, Minnesota. We um, are one of many manufacturing uh, plants around the United States. Um, and so I've been working with Altec for almost 10 years now. Um, and have no, um, no plans to leave. I love it here. So um, kind of want to go over a little bit about Altec and what we do. So what is Altec, what we do, um, talk about our culture, available jobs, and the application process. So North Force has asked us to share that information. Uh, so again, we are located in Duluth, Minnesota, uh, locally here. Uh, manufacturing is around the United States, so anywhere from the east to west coast, we have service centers. We service a lot of the United States, but we also service a lot of, um, we provide trucks and aerial units for uh, the greater um, worldwide. Uh, 
there as well. So what we do is we manufacture the tallest aerials within Altec. So we reach 75 feet to 150 feet in the air. And I put a little um, cartoon picture down here. That's what our aerials look like. Um, so these little, these aerial, um, the units, they telescope up to 150 feet in the air, believe it or not. I went up in a hundred footer and that was it. I was good there. <laughs> All right, so our mission is to profitably design, manufacture, and sell innovative products, services, and solutions to, to users of mobile equipment. To be, our vision is to be recognized by customers as the preferred provider of products, services, and solutions in all markets we serve. Our values that we live by, um, and we truly do live by these, um, these values, customer first, enjoyment of work, family, financial stability, integrity, people are our greatest strength, quality, spiritual development, and teamwork. So what sets us apart from other manufacturing companies? Um, one of the, the interesting things that I learned when I, I started here is we do not have a distributor like other companies would. So uh, for instance, John Deere, a uh, great company, but you see that they have distributors and you can purchase those at other facilities. We have, um, our, our product comes from the manufacturing plant. We work with our inside sales, outside sales teams, and they go straight to our customers. We're a custom built shop here. Um, we also have manufacturing. So our manufacturing, we raw sheet steel, um, and then we make it into that telescoping unit. We do final assembly here as well. So we final assemble all of our products. We also have a service center in our location as well. So we have all three entities in our Duluth location which, that really sets us apart. All right, a little bit about the culture. This is probably my favorite part about Altec um, is that I'm part of the HR team, but I'm also one of our recruiters here. And um, the reason I got into recruiting is I truly believe um, the culture is a really, really good um, benefit um, for associates here at Altec. Uh, we talk about the Altec family. Uh, we are, met, we have, multiple hundreds of people at our location, but I can tell you, I can go out, talk to anyone, ask them about their weekend, how they're doing, um, and go from there. So we do have the large company perks with a small uh, com company feel, I would say. We also have growth opportunities, both professionally and personally, um, whether it's training, um, learning, you know, within the position, whether you want to go from one position to a different position, uh, say a welder to a machine operator to an assembler, we do have restrictions on how much you can move, um, how often within a year, but we do want to make sure that that person is happy. Um, personal um, things like tuition reimbursement. So I'm personally going in and um, I'm going in for my master's program to continue my education. Um, and so that is paid for 100% by the company if you do a certain, certain programs and things like that. Some of the fun events that we do here at Altec, which makes HR really fun, um, is we have Hamburger Day. International Hamburger Day was in May, I think. So we, get, we had Stokies come up and um, give out hamburgers. We do Family Day, where all of our associates get together on, as the families. Um, we gave out Chris, or candy for Halloween. We sponsor Dragon Boat Teams. Um, have drive-in movies here. And then, you know, we support people that want to do like 5Ks, for instance. And that's just some of the things that we do outside of the workday uh, to really promote family events and things like that. And then finally, um, part of our culture is we work with local colleges. So it does benefit us to work with colleges. We get some of those uh, students interested in working for us, but we also can support them with local um, um, of like an Altec competition, we'll provide some of the material for them, or we come in and speak to their classes and get them excited about manufacturing as well. Um, so here are all the positions that we do host uh, through Altec. So as you can see this list here, there's quite a few different positions. Um, these, I, I generally focus on production. So all of my production uh, are here as well. What's not listed would be our office associates, so HR, um, engineering, uh, sales inside and outside, safety um, engineers, different things like that. Um, the reason I posted just my positions that I'm looking for is that's what's available here in addition to an environmental health and safety uh, supervisor. So we're looking for first and second shift um, associates uh, to work like assembly, that environmental health, um, some production interns, the so welders and machining interns, a machine operator, some material handler with some forklift experience, painters, and then welders as well. 
Um, so those are the, 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 hot, the hot available position, positions that I'm looking for right now um, to fill my, to, looking for associates to fill that position. Um, our first shift is, uh, all shifts are Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Um, to 3 p.m. or 3.30 to midnight. Um, and then all of our positions starting wage over $18 or more. And then our wages do increase by position ex and experience. So they, they come in over that as well. So how you would apply to our positions would be um, go to jobs.altech.com. Um, that would be the main place to look for a career. And in the bottom here, you would type in I, I put a see your career from a different perspective. So that's where you go in and, and enter your location and do search and it'll pull up all of our available positions. Our positions also are posted on Northforce, uh, Minnesota Works, Indeed, Career Builder, and Handshake, for instance, and then all of our government websites as well. And then if you go to the jobs.altech.com and the associates don't find a job that they're interested in, they can set up a job alert. So for me, for instance, I wouldn't want to apply to any of the positions I have right now because I'm in HR. So say I want to look for another HR position, for instance, I would come in here, put my email address in, type of, you know, type in human resources and create, and it would email me weekly and let me know. So that saves time um, on the job hunt. And then another little exciting event is tomorrow we're having a virtual Indeed Fair. Um, I put the QR code to link it for assemblers on second shift. That's what we're really focusing on right now. So this is an event tomorrow, the 17th, um, from three to five to do an event as well. And we're not doing questions. So I'll skip that slide and stop sharing. So. Wonderful, Whitney, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for sharing that, letting us mm -hmm. get to know Altec a little bit more. And it looks like you have some great positions open right now. Yeah, so we'll take some questions at the end. If anybody has questions, be thinking about them and we'll be taking them at the end. Um, Erica, if you are ready, we'd be happy to pass it to you and let you share your screen and and hear more All about right. United Health Group. Great. Um, so um, thank you for joining or allowing me to join today. Um, my name is Erica. Uh, I am uh, a recruitment manager with uh, United Health Group. Uh, part of my job is to go around and promote our entry level positions that we have open all over the United States. But specifically today, we do have some entry level positions open in our Duluth market. Um, so just a little bit about United Health Group. Um, we are split into two different business units. We have United Health Care, uh, which does a lot of our medical insurance um, policies, Medicare and retirement type benefits. Um, and then we have the Optum side, which usually deals in more of the pharmacy uh, business, uh, but also our technology and data um, as well. So there's a lot of different positions in different areas for both business units, but they are both represented under United Health Group. Um, we have, uh, we, our main office is in uh, Minnetonka. Um, we are voted one of the top companies uh, in uh, Minnesota, won various awards. Uh, and then I lead some diversity and inclusion initiatives, which is a cool thing that we do at the company. Um, so uh, we hire uh, veterans, people with disabilities, uh, things like that. So what positions are we looking for today? So we have two positions that we have open in Duluth right now. Uh, we have a uh, uh, customer service remote work from home role. Um, and then we have a what's what we're classifying as a temporary remote work from home because of COVID right now. But we do have a billing service representative position that we expect to go on site um, after training. So training would last about seven weeks and then you would go into the office. Um, for that, uh, it's a little bit more of a higher paid position. Uh, the customer service is a 40 hour a week work from home position where you would be 
um, <clears throat> helping new members with their plans and accessing things for their medical plan. So you would be able to work from home, although the starting salary for those would range between $16 to $18 an hour, whereas the billing role would be more in the range of like $18 to $22 an hour. So there is a little bit of a give and take there. Our Duluth facility has actually just been um, remodeled. Uh, so it's got a cafeteria, it's got a gym, it's got on-site health advisors it's got on-site banks it's got walking paths so um and there's plenty of space uh we're you know obviously doing social distancing for the people that are in the office um and your hours are 8 a.m to 4 30 every day monday through friday so um as i said the training will be conducted from your home but we do have these people come on site and the reason we do is because they're handling a lot of protected health information uh with billing so uh we have those people in office to conduct uh, because they're working with bill accounts and balances. So those are the two jobs that we have open. Um, what do we offer in terms of benefits? United Health Group has amazing benefits. So we do offer 18 days of paid time off, which you start to accrue in your first pay period. So it's not something that you have to wait for. You automatically start accruing those time off at, uh, once you're hired. Um, we do offer eight paid holidays as well. We have obviously great mental or <laughs> mental medical plan, health savings accounts, or just you know regular PPO plans, dental, vision, life, disability, 401k, we match up to 6%. Our education reimbursement, we also do tuition reimbursement. Um, we don't have a particular field that you have to study uh, either. So um, we give up to $5,000 uh, or $5,250 per calendar year. Uh, which is pretty cool and then a whole bunch of other benefits and united health group has a lot of corporate sponsor sponsorship programs so there's a lot of like opportunity to even get local deals in the city of duluth um also with our billing service representative we are offering a 1500 dollars sign-on bonus for external candidates and you do get the opportunity to temporarily work from home while you're in training um so i have put a link up except for the little dot there <laughs> it should just be uhg.hr slash duluth roles november um if you go to that site you will see both of those uh, positions uh, that you can apply for uh, our application process, once you apply, um, is that a recruiter looks at your application, make sure you meet all the requirements for the position. These are entry level positions. There's, the only requirement that we have is that you at least have a high school diploma or years of working experience if you don't have a high school diploma. So they're pretty entry level. Uh, we do have an online assessment that you complete as well. It's about 20 to 30 minutes, just kind of testing you excuse me, on your customer service skills, um, even though that's not the kind of experience that you really need to do that, but it is helpful. So they're pretty commonplace questions. If you've ever worked customer service, they're pretty easy assessments to get through. Um, and then we have the uh, hiring manager interview. Um, so that right now is set up through our video interviewing system. So we're not doing on-site interviews at this time. We're doing phone interviews and video interviewing. Um, so uh, once that's done, then we do an offer and onboard you. So the entire process takes about three weeks maximum. So we can get you hired in, in the door as quick as possible. Um, it all kind of relies on you and how fast you take that assessment and how quick you're on things with that and responding to interview requests. So, okay, so that's pretty much all I have. I'll go back to the other slide just for a second, but there is my email address. Um, if you wanna learn more about the positions that we have open, if you do apply for some reason, I would encourage you to email me there so I can keep track of your application. Um, but again, here is the uh, link to apply to uh, our roles at United Health Group in Duluth. Wonderful, thank you, Erica. So I am done. Yes, that was great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Some great positions there as well. All right, Lisa and Kelly, if you are ready, we will pass it over to you to listen to more about Mary Craft staffing. So Amber and Desiree, thanks so much for giving us the opportunity to work with you today and, and uh, share a little bit about our organization and our clients. So, um, Mary Craft HR is a 33-year-old women-owned uh, HR and staffing firm. Our 
corporate office is in uh, Hunt Valley, Maryland, just north of Baltimore. Uh, we have a second office in Duluth, Minnesota. That office was um, about two years old now. And we moved into that office about two years ago, just at this time of the year, uh, to help support a very large client out there. So a little bit different than, than Altec and, um, and, and United Health Group. We support companies just like Altec and United Health Group. And you might think that um, it's a difficult path forward when you're searching for a job if you connect with uh, a staffing firm. And that's really not true anymore today. Um, one of the things, one of the differentiators uh, for Mary Craft is that we've developed what we call an HR model for staffing for our clients. So there's one very large client in Duluth that we're uh, heavily involved with, and we brought that HR model to bear there. So um, our employees are actually working elbow to elbow with one of the largest health providers in the world, um, 350,000 employees worldwide, and they um, have similar benefits through Marycraft. So conceivably, they could stay on the Mary Craft payroll throughout the life of the contract, which is 10 years, and, um, and have similar benefits. Many times, uh, that client does convert the top performers to their payroll, so there's also that opportunity. And in the two years that we've been working on this contract, we, um, we have seen many, many, many of the people Kelly placed uh, promote it to at least one or two levels ahead of where they started within the past year and a half to two years. So I'm going to let Kelly, Kelly tell you a little bit more. Kelly Karatzakis is a senior recruiter at Mary Craft. And um, if she wasn't at raising three beautiful children, she'd probably be the president of Mary Craft. Um, my name, I jumped right ahead, Lisa Benson. I am the president and chief executive officer of Mary Craft. And like I said, Kelly's been um, the brightest star in terms of staffing in Duluth. And I just wanted her to share a little bit about what she knows today. Hi, everyone. Thank you again for having us. So uh, we started out in Duluth about two years ago. And when we began our search, we were primarily looking for um, someone in their early career entry level position that had a solid foundation for these positions that we could really grow and mold into what our client was looking for. So while we were discovering the talent, we were falling in love with Duluth at the same time and expanding very quickly and networking throughout the community. We have um, branched off into you know, a larger radius from Duluth as well. So while we are looking directly in Duluth, you don't have to be you know, 10, 15 minutes from the office anymore because it is a temporarily remote position again. With COVID, it would be remote, um, at least for the time being. And it is an extensive uh, training program that we were put through paid training. And once you're out of training, you are working Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. There's overtime opportunities available, which you can sign up for, which is great because then you can plan out your week. You can have that overtime opportunity, put some extra money in throughout the holidays or into next year. Um, so right now we are looking for at least 10 or 15 candidates to come on board for our upcoming class on November 29th. And we also have another class coming up in January, which should hopefully be another 20 to 30 candidates that we're looking to place with our employer out there. Uh, these candidates would be processing medical claims and that does support the Maryland mental health. And again, you don't need direct experience in the medical field. While we do strongly encourage someone to have strong interests or a background in the medical field, this is a fully trainable position and a really, really, really great position to get in, especially if you are looking for growth. There is a lot of growth and transition within these companies. Um, as far as the application process, with us being a small women-owned company, I can view your application directly and kind of expedite the process for anyone interested. We have someone available practically 24 seven. Um, any questions that you may have, if you need resume help, we're here for that service as well. So 
while you can have us kind of as a barrier before you put a formal um, you know, interview process or application out there, we're here to help you in what you need in your job search. So if you're in the beginning of your search and you need some resume help, contact us. If you are ready to begin employment, still contact us. Um, from there, I would do a phone screen with you or another HR representative here. That would be about 10 or 15 minutes. And we would send you again assessments that will, while it won't be a make or break per se, it's going to gauge where you are and if it's a good fit for you, because we want to make sure it's not just a good fit to plug you in a position. We want to set you up for long-term success and growth and make sure that we're putting you in the right place. So after we do the assessments, we would then do the onboarding um, as far as your background, and that can all be done within a week. Uh, we work very, very quickly here, and we can move you quickly through the process. So as long as we have about a week notice, we can get you in for the 29th class. So the way to apply for those jobs is to visit uh, marycraft.com. That's M-A-R-Y-K-R-A-F-T.com. Lots of people try to log on to M-A-R-Y-C-R-A-F-T.com and that doesn't work, but um, you can visit our website, view the open positions, click on that job and fill out your application right there um, through our, the same uh, system. You can also do your onboarding paperwork and what have you at a later date. Um, you can reach us at 410-296-0655 or call our Duluth office directly. I don't have that number committed to memory, I'm sorry, but um, we have boots on the ground in Duluth. Uh, Andrew Wanquist is our uh, business development manager out there in Duluth. He's very involved with our clients. Um, we told you all today about one position in particular. We have a couple of other clients uh, right now, we're also looking for to fill positions um, in manufacturing and and um, and in customer service uh, with different clients. So um, I'll leave you with that, and um, thank you again for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about ourselves and um, and our adventures in Duluth. Yes, thank you, Lisa and Kelly. Thank you for being here today. Um, to all of our presenters, if you would like to put your contact information in the chat, feel free to do that. I know there was a lot of information for everybody, so we can have it in the chat in case anybody um, wants that. So we're going to move into a little bit of a Q&A session. If you have any questions, we would love to hear them. So while you're thinking there for a minute, um, you can feel free to raise your hand if you know how to use that hand raise function on Zoom if you have a question, or feel free to just unmute yourself and ask um, as well. And you're also welcome to put a question in the chat and we can read it aloud if you are more comfortable with that. So we'll, we'll wait just a minute, see if anybody has any questions. I have a question for Whitney, this is William. Hey, um. I'm currently a student at Southern Hampton University in the Operations Management Degree Program. I think I got, I don't know, eight, nine courses left. Mm -hmm. uh, I should be done next year. Is Does Alltech hire into that, you know, the production or, you know, the operations side of it uh, as a matter, you know, the management side? Do you know? So your question is, do we hire into management? Yeah, exactly. I'm an operations management. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, I got like eight, eight, I think I got eight, eight or nine courses left. Um, and I, that I was just, you know, I was just interested to see if uh, all tech is, is hiring those positions as a, you know, um, you know, new, you know, new graduate, basically. So we do a little bit of both. Um, so we, we do hire externally into management positions. But I also I will also say is uh, a lot of our management positions are our internal um, movement as well. So a lot I would yeah. say about eighty percent of our supervisors have come in from the shop floor themselves. So that's really uh, something we pride ourselves on. But we do hire externally as well. We are okay. not hiring at the moment, but maybe when you're done with school, we may have uh, we may have positions. 
Right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Great. Thank you. Any other questions coming up? So I have a question uh, for, um, it might be for uh, both Erica and the ladies from Marycraft, because um, it sounds like the positions you are looking for or hiring for are, you know, similar-ish. So what skill sets are you looking for in these? Um, I know that the, the you mentioned like entry-level um, positions, uh, and also like aside from that, what types of candidates are typically most successful in these entry level roles? So Erica, if you wanna go first. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you that these are actually like positions that are with United Health Group. So that's that's the biggest difference here because you're you're working directly for our company. Um, that that and with that skill set, I'll say too that like the entry level being skills that on the billing side, we would love to have people that come over with billing experience or claims experience. But and obviously that puts you in in a higher uh, salary bracket. But in terms of like entry level, we don't require any entry level really experience because we do all, we have a pretty robust training program um, for both our customer service roles and our billing positions. So um, we don't really require any experience. Um, and then, you know, like I said, our minimum hour, hourly rate for just basic, you know, no experience, maybe you've just worked retail is $18 an hour um, <clears throat> for the customer service role uh, with work from home. So. Um, it's, it's a really good start out position um, to really, and then, you know, with Minnesota being our home state, uh, there's tons of management type roles and things that are out there uh, for internal people to apply for because we have our internal first promotion program. So um, it's really a good start in terms of, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of experience that you want to work for a corporate company and, and get those benefits. Uh, it's a great place to start. So a little bit different for the, the recruiting that we're doing in, in that similar space. We're looking for candidates who are um, skilled, not, not necessarily experienced. If they have a little uh, medical terminology or something, that's a great thing, but they don't really need it to get started. There's a hefty 30-day training program that will get them where they need to go. What we're looking for, though, we're looking for individuals who are comfortable working on their own um, independently. So right now they're remote. They may be back on campus at some point, but um, they do need to be very skilled in navigating systems, more than one system at a time. And in um, researching, um, researching, and then bringing what they research into alignment and paying claims eventually. Um, Kelly, any other insights about skill sets? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, also someone who is familiar with a stationary position. So they have had you know, a position where they're on the computer for eight hours a day is a plus. So, you know, not someone who necessarily needs to be up and running around and be mobile the entire day. Someone who can have that focus and remain focused is, you know, again, not a make or break deal, but it's something that we definitely look for. And again, that's going with placing you in the right position that will set you up for long-term success. So one of the analogies our client likes to use is that uh, gamers are well-suited for these positions. It's really um, who get um, pleasure out of researching and navigating and can spend the whole day doing that. And um, Bottom line, I had one of the folks that we have placed in those positions. We, I was in Duluth last week and we took three of our employees to dinner, had a great chat. And one of them said he loves his position. He understands that he's essential in, in saving lives in that if he doesn't do his piece to, um, to record the claims properly and get the providers paid, um, then they can't take care of each other. So um, so I thought that was an awesome way to look at what he does for a living. And um, yeah, that's a little bit about the position we're talking about today. 
Great. Yeah, definitely good questions. Um, so one question I always like to ask is what do you really enjoy about your organization? What is something that you enjoy about, about your job or about your organization? And maybe we can start with Whitney. Yeah, of course. I touched on this a little bit uh, in my presentation, but it's the, it's the culture. It's it, what I love about the organization. Part of that culture is doing the fun events. Uh, we started that probably five or six years ago, really with the team and just doing I don't know. It's just fun seeing people's face light up when you, you hand them a full candy bar for Halloween, just because. So just little things like that. Uh, another thing is that we are family owned. We are a private company. So again, we do have that family feel. Um, but again, you do get the perks of having a large, from a large company as well. So. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Lisa and Kelly. Sure. Um, so again, we are a women owned small business. So I love the family feel. Um, I love that I can know my coworkers and colleagues very closely. And we are here to support each other, not just professionally, but on a very personal level as well. So it makes coming to work very enjoyable. And, and for me, um, we were in Duluth last week, I think I mentioned, and we did a job fair three of those days. Um, I kind of left the job fair folks to the job fair and I went out in the community and met with nonprofits who help um, veterans get jobs and housing. I went out to three different college campuses in the area. I visited friends at Career Force who actually are the ones who turned me on to you guys and stopped at the public library. And my client said, I can't believe how much territory you covered in one day. And I said, that's my jam. That's really what I like about my job. I like to, uh, I love Mary Craft and I love our clients and I like to, I like to go out and share a little bit about how we can help people in person. And I miss that so much over the last year and a half. So thanks for asking. Yeah, definitely. And then Erica. Really just uh, the committee's commitment to um, they're promoting their employees. Uh, I started out in customer service and then went to HR and now I'm in management. So, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity here for people who work hard and, you know, the culture really is about um, making sure that our people get the experience they need and the promotional opportunity that they deserve as well as, you know, salary and benefits. Um, so really just love the company's commitment to their internal employees. Great. Thank you. Are there any other questions from our participants? So I have a question for Whitney. Um, it's pretty similar to the one I asked uh, earlier of uh, Erica and, and Lisa, but like, what do you look for in an entry level, specifically entry level candidate? And then like, what makes someone stand out in the hiring process for you for those positions? Right. Um, entry level, we have quite a few positions that are entry level that I'm looking for. Uh, really enthusiasm um, is, you know, a manufacturing plant, you're moving a lot, you're, you know, physically moving, um, just need to be really quick on your feet, um, things like that. So looking for entry level, um, just that enthusiasm, it goes a long way. Um, not everyone that comes in our door has had manufacturing uh, experience in the past. We're willing to train. We have a ton of training um, and training um, on the job training. And we set up with a mentor program and go over safety as well. So um, really anyone can apply to those entry level positions. We're looking for that enthusiasm that, that add to our culture. And then um, what associates the standout during the, um, you said the, the application process and things like that? Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, I think it's the same. I love people with enthusiasm um, that really want to be here and add to our culture. Um, and just, you know, they're really curious about Altec too. And really those people that really like to see something from raw sheet steel just a flat sheet of steel to a, a completely made truck. So curiosity and enthusiasm is, is something that I really look for. Yeah, great question. 
All right, any other questions? Can I piggyback on what Whitney just said? Yes, okay? please. So um, that was a great answer to a great question. And I, I just want to tell a little story about last week when we were in Duluth and we had um, a, a client on site with us at the job fair, um, one of them, one of, one of the representatives. And she saw quite a few good candidates. And if they didn't have the passion, if their answers to the questions about why they wanted to be there, if that wasn't, the passion wasn't palpable, she turned them down. Even though it's the crunchiest candidate market we've ever, I've ever experienced in my 20 years in, in Mary Craft. And um, even though they had some other good skills, she, um, she passed. And I was so impressed with that. And so um, thanks Whitney for the reminder about you know, what good, good employers are really looking for to, you know, to bring on board in their organization. Very important point. Yeah, that's great. And I'll, I'll open it up to you as well, Erica, if you have anything you want to add on to this discussion. Yeah, uh, you know, I think too, it's important to note that like, having, uh, especially in the healthcare industry, having a compassion for the person that you're talking to is a skill that, you know, some people have, some people don't have. And I think when we're interviewing, we're really looking at, you know, can this person, you know, you might have a member in customer service that's calling you and they're freaking out because they don't have enough visits for something in particular. Um, you know, being able to like help that member out, not only help that member out, but have a compassion um, feel behind your voice and, and really helping that member out is, is one of the things I think our managers really look for is how are you going to interact with our candidates or our members? Yes, wonderful. Definitely. Thank you for that. Um, kind of talking about, you know, whether or not there's that that kind of passion, maybe understanding of like what the job entails. I'm curious um, if any of you offer internships. We have um, this video will be shared out with the the North Force candidate base of of 4,000 plus people afterwards, which includes students. Um, and I'm wondering if you have any internships you offer. If they if you do, if they're paid or not. I think maybe um, United Health Group mentioned something about um, some sort of scholarship program or some some work with students so i'm just curious about that are there any internships offered and maybe we'll start with um erica this time um i'll put a link in the in the chat from our career site we do offer some um, paid and unpaid internships it kind of just depends on what you're looking for uh, like project management it tends to have a lot of internships um uh, also in our underwriting team uh, so those are the people that write the medical plans uh we have some internships as well um so i'll put that link in the chat i'm more than happy to do that yeah that would be great erica just um a kind of an add on to that, do you know how many of those internships tend to turn into um, job offers? Oh, all of them. <laughs> oh, very so, good. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. So, and, and real, obviously, you know, if there's, a, you have to meet some certain criteria and level, but um, w when we open up an internship in a particular department, um, it's usually in the spring or summer, but then we have the intention of bringing that person on to work in that department. So we offer those as like a, um, not really uh, calculating an actual open role, um, but then we move them into an FTE after their internship's over. Um, and really that's uh, big in our like sales team and our data analyst team and things like that. So it's usually to support people that are already in school right now who once they graduate can convert over to a, a full-time employee. Great, yeah, that sounds like a great method. Um, Whitney, would you be willing to answer that? Yes, uh, so we have production interns right now that are open that I can speak to uh, for the welding program and then our machine uh, machinist program. So those are paid internships. And so that we just require this, the intern to be in school at the moment, and then they, they learn on the job skills. Um, and then we also have um, engineering uh, internships. We have a purchasing internship and then, um, yeah, I guess that those are the big ones that we have. They're all paid internships. Uh, we typically will ask that the intern will commit to at least a, at least a semester, if not two. Sometimes we have um, interns that last here their entire schooling, uh, depending on how long that degree would be. 
And I would say about 95% of our interns turn into full-time positions. Uh, a lot of times, the ones that are coming to my head, the ones that we don't retain full-time here, they go to a different Altec facility to learn a different product. So it's still a win for us um, at Altec wide, but Duluth, um, they don't stay here, um, which is a win. They get to learn more products, so. Yes, definitely sounds like a great learning, hands-on learning opportunities. Um, mm -hmm. Lisa. So I think because of what we do and how we come to the market as a, a staffing partner, um, we don't often get the opportunity to fill internships. And once there were some mandates around paying interns in the workforce, um, we got a little more opportunity in that area, but I can't say it happens very often. I will say, and I'm glad this question came up, we are looking to onboard um, a couple of new Mary Craft HR employees in the Duluth area and um, an HR associate and um, perhaps an HR generalist. And um, those, not the generalist piece, but the associate, we would definitely consider bringing on an intern and, um, and developing that person. We'd be very excited to do that. Wonderful, thank you for those great answers. All right, last call for questions here. Are there any other questions from our audience? Well, I think I think you've covered all of our questions pretty well. Thank you for that comprehensive presentation and answers. Um, I will get my screen to move here a little bit. Um, we have another business meet and greet coming up on Tuesday, November thirtieth. That will be our oh, there we go. <laughs> that will be our last one um, of the the fall semester, and then we'll have three more coming up in the spring. Um, I want to give another big thank you to our presenters that were here today to talk about their organizations and businesses. We appreciate so much having you here, um, sharing those open job opportunities that are available. And um, like we said, we'll be sharing this video out with our entire North First candidate base and hopefully be able to connect you with a lot of interested candidates that will be great for those positions. So mm -hmm. thank you again to Lisa and Kelly and Whitney and Erica. We appreciate having you here. And we hope you have a great um, rest of your day. Thank you. That was Thank so you enjoyable. Us. I appreciate it. Thank you.